Welcome guys to another video of Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's get things started. Today we will be talking about Grand Theft Auto Heist. Yes, sir. Grand Theft Auto Heist. We have officially gotten the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto Heist along with the actual interview conducted by IGN with one of the executives or lead designers or someone involved with Grand Theft Auto. Let's just say that. And let's rob a, rob a store so we could. I just robbed this one, so we'll go over here. There's three over here. So, basically, let's get down to what is actually happening. Alright, so, we the trailer of Grand Theft Auto Heist on Machinima. If you guys haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's a great trailer, and it really got me excited to go and play Grand Theft Auto. I mean, all of us have been waiting for Grand Theft Auto Heist ever since the drop of and Grand Theft Auto has been saying, or Rockstar saying that it's going to come out, don't worry, it's it's taking a little longer blah blah this, blah blah that, but now that we actually have attainable evidence, everyone seems to be happy now. So, what's next? Well, the next thing is, let's move on to the interview. Let's get down to some of the details that you were to play Grand Theft Auto Heist. It is not a single thing. It's not a single player mission that you hop on online and you can make a lot of money. it's one of those that you're gonna need quite a bit of time and stuff of that nature you will need four players it is a co-op mission and that the reason why it took longer than expected is due to the fact of that co-op mission is because just like in story mode you could switch between all the three characters, whether it's the people planning the heist, the getaway vehicle, the one doing all the robbing, all of this. You feel important throughout the whole. What you do with this is make sure everyone felt important while conducting the heist, that no one felt left out. The driver had stuff to do well. The heist is happening, whether it be crowd control or that everyone involved is not going to feel that they got robbed in any sense of the word or what as the guy who was planning it. So what will you need? You will at least need four players to play. At least. The four op co-op mission, you'll need four players and just only four players. Players, you will need four players. Everything is four. Not out of the ordinary. Get four people, and then you're done. From what I'm assuming, it is gonna be very hectic, so to speak. And what I mean by that is that people are gonna that gonna take ten minutes to complete, ten or less minutes. From what I'm Assuming it's going to take up anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to do the heist. What you'll need is a high-end apartment to plan out. You'll need your board. You'll need everything. You'll go through all the stages just like you did on story game. You'll need all of that stuff in order to conduct all of this. So lead in this mission side missions and with the side missions they're not going to get any of the money that comes in from the side missions I, swear. I don't know what the missions are 
in title. We'll have to see when it gets released. But the actual boss lead of this is not going to get any money. All he's going to do is get money from the heist itself. And what amount of time and effort that you're planning on putting in into the game or into the actual heist itself, the payout's going to be very lucrative. So with that, that's the reason why I'm thinking that the heists aren't going to be 10 minutes. Because if so, you could just do a heist in 10 minutes and by the end of it, by the end of the hour, you'll be very, very rich. So I don't think a very high payout. Just due to the fact that it's going to take a bit longer in order for you to conduct the mission. As of right now, when will it release? As of right now, they said early 2015. January, February, March. I'm assuming sometime in that time frame. And it makes sense. The reason why is the holidays are going to be over. So everyone who's getting console or getting a new game for the council will have something very fun, interactive, and it's going to push people to buy the game more in order to already have tremendous amount of sales so with that they need they're gonna want people to move over gen councils or the next gen councils or current gen however you want to look at them people on those next gen councils with that you're gonna need something to advertise to for to people to not to not just play. Oh, I have it for Xbox 360 or PS3. Oh, over to uh, PS4 or Xbox One to where just better everything is better. All of this and all that. So I think they're doing that after the holidays so that the people who bought. Grand Theft Auto 5 or got it as a present or same thing as a they got a new system for the holidays are gonna wanna actually get Grand Theft Auto 5 so there you guys go you'll need four people to play the boss isn't gonna get money from the little side missions that you do you need a high-end apartment, something I'm assuming that's two hundred thousand dollars or more. You're also gonna need at least four people to do it, and it's coming out as early as of I'm gonna assume 2015. No, early. Yeah, it is coming out early 2015. Sometime maybe January, or February. I don't see it coming out in March anytime soon. The reason why it's just too long, they might do it if they find a few bugs, but January, February, when everything's settled down. So, there you guys go. Hope you guys, as always, if you found this helpful, please leave a like around here. Please check out some other videos, and if you see what you like, please subscribe. Till next time, guys.